hello I'm going to try to pick this Dom Diamant that was uh, sent to me by uh, Siotos thank you very much for that um, it's a disc detainer lock uh, but in this one you don't tension on a disc but as you can see there is a front plate with some warding and you can tension from that um, I'll be using this tool uh, that's there just for the spacing um, this is the tensioning part that can grab on where's the focus that can grab onto those uh, to that plate in front and the picking chip looks like this um, the last disc you can see there is sprung so it's always in that position until it's bind, it binds and you can set it only when I set the second to last disc I have trouble getting on the last disc so then I just push against it uh, with um, with my picking chip and wiggle so I'll try to get it into position that way or maybe then it can slip uh, on the disc and then I can set it uh, another thing uh, you see this C-clip over here that's uh, not as tight anymore it's, it should push outward and prevent uh, the disc from coming out but sometimes while uh, when I pick it um, I push too hard and the, the, the plug comes out and I can start over again so that's why I'm putting this uh, half cylinder in the back and that prevents the um, the plug from coming out Okay, let's see how this goes. This, uh, yeah, this, I can safe to say this is the hardest disc detainer lock I've tried to pick so far. I did open it off camera. But I won't be talking too much because I have to focus. Right. I have trouble, always have trouble finding the first disc. Wait, let's use the key first to make sure all the uh, discs are aligned. Um, because I don't tension off uh, a disc, I don't have to rotate all the discs. Uh, uh, clockwise I can just center them with the key and start picking feeling the discs if they bind they're probably in a fast gate and when they feel mushy just like pushing into some mud or something they're probably set sure about that one let's go back to the front
I'm using RWP's pick with the 1.6 millimeter spacing. It's open as you can see right there. And now let's close it up again like that and see if I can gut it. I haven't done that before, but I did watch a video, so <laughs> let's hope I don't mess up. One day I should get myself a nice gutting tray for disc detainer. Don't have that one yet. Uh, let's get the circlip off first. Might need a screwdriver. No, I don't. As I said, it's very loose. So I can just push it off. I have to watch out for the sidebars. Uh, well, let's just leave that. And there you can see the sidebar grooves in the lock. This lock has three sidebars. Uh, let's get them out. One, two, and three. No springs, they're just uh, rods, perfectly round. Um, okay, I do want that circlip out of the way. And there, let's zoom in a bit so I can show you the discs. Uh, there. The discs now they are out of position but when I insert the key they align allowing the sidebar to drop in and the plug to rotate uh, there as well and of course on this side perfectly aligned. Um, this is a spring and that uh, is for that last disc. First let's try to get this front plate off. I think I'm going to need... oh no, my nail works. Let's zoom out again. Go. There we go. Let's put that there. 
and get some tweezers. Um, moving that to the side real quick, and I'll just lay the uh, discs over here. One. Another interesting thing is the spacers. I don't know if you can see, but they have four ball bearings. And to remove those, I will need to remove the spring first. So let's see how that works. Oh, and just push it out. This is the spring. And I'll put that there. Okay, now I can get the spacers out. Um, let's have a look at the orientation. Okay, so here, this is to the left side, and in the spacers, that protrusion. Oh, they don't have one. Okay. And this one is to the right. Probably here in the vacuum cleaner. Very small disc as well. And thin. Pretty hard to get on them. I don't even know how many discs are in here, forgot to count. Don't flip on me. These discs with the bigger protrusion are a lot easier to get out than the other ones. There's not much room. I don't know which way that should face. I think this way. Let's compare with. Yeah, it looks like it. But I'll have to try the key before I, uh, while I assemble it. Best way to find out. No, not yet. Uh, flipped again. And they're not symmetrical, so I'll have to use the key to check them when I reassemble. And between the last disc 
and the sprung disc it doesn't seem to be a spacer so that's why I had difficulty getting on that last one got let's get a bit closer so you can see the discs as you can see ball bearings in the spacers grooves in the plug to guide the discs very nice look hardest disc you can look I picked so far thank you for watching